Hello guys and welcome to the Diecast Beast YouTube channel. Um, wait, hold on until I just my phone. Yep, all good. Uh, today I'm going to show you my latest custom uh, Nissan GTR R34 uh, Hot Wheels. Um, so yeah, see. So first I, I will talk about the casting. So this is the this is the original one. Uh, this is from the Fast uh, Hot Wheels Fast and Furious series. Uh, uh, last year, yep, 2017 series. So, so you know, this is the this is the all-time favorite uh, casting of this uh, Fast and Furious series. Uh, that's for me. I don't know what's uh, you guys you guys uh, uh, favorite car in the series, but I think this is the most favorite one because it's Paul. Uh, it's because of its Pauls and uh, and because of. And because uh, it's a GTR, you know, so I bought uh, you know three or four uh, from this casting uh, because I like it, and I was now I won't like got the time to do the uh, custom works. So let's go to the let's go to the custom one. All right, there you go. This is the custom I have done. So I was gonna I was thinking what to do and what's next and everything, but then I did I did this how good is this uh, crack effect I call it crack effect and all the detail you know, tail lights and detail front lights signal lights everything so front lights uh, I printed my own decals so I, I found this uh, picture clip art from Google and you know just the sizes and print in the in my own decal as the headlights so otherwise if I gonna paint this one it won't be this nice so this is a um, printed uh, headlights and see the body nice nice crack effect nice see the cracks very well detailed so now I'm sure I'm pretty sure you guys wonder how uh, how I did this uh, how I get this a uh, crack effect on the car? It's not a mystery or anything. Uh, I didn't. I didn't paint the cracks. <laughs> I found a. I found a special paint. All right. And yep. Yeah. And I'll, I will mention about the paint later. So let's go to the wheels. I didn't change the original wheels. I I kept uh, the original wheels as it is. Uh, because it's kind of nice, you know. I like this uh, type of hot wheels. Hot wheels wheels. So this is a 10 spoke one, I guess so, um, and yeah, I think it's pretty much matching, otherwise I could have used this one, uh, this type of uh, wheels, but nah, I'll, st I'll stick to the you know, original wheels, and yeah, alright, let's go with the paint paint job, alright, I'll tell, I will tell you how I did the painting job, first I did, first what I, what I did was, uh, uh, remove the original painting. So this is not a Zamac or anything. They, they have applied a silver color coating on this one So what I did was remove the paint and polish the Polish the casting uh, to remove uh, all the uh, all the remaining parts and Then I applied this one Dulux steel primer prime core uh, I normally apply primer coat, you know to get the smooth surface uh, before I apply the uh, color coat, uh, but I know most of the some of, some of the customizers, uh, Hot Wheels customizers, they don't use any primer coat. They straight away apply the uh, paint, but I, I normally use this one. And then I applied black, black color, uh, black gloss, black color uh, paint. So this says paint and prime, but anyways, I use the prime, you know. So I use the um, use this one and then the magic paint magic paint <laughs> I saw magic paint because I saw this one for the first time and I know maybe if you you guys have seen this one before just put a comment down below so this is the Dulux uh, crack effect Duramax crack effect so this thing is a total white color and you have to apply it on a dark color surface so yeah so I applied the uh, uh, prime coat and then the color coat and left it for like a couple of hours until it is uh, very very dry otherwise this uh, crack effect won't work so then I applied uh, only one coat of this one if you apply two three coats uh, then this effect will not be 
uh, not be, not coming like this you know so just make sure you apply only one coat of this one and leave it uh, leave it for a couple of minutes to dry then you will see these crack, uh, cracks uh, cracks appears uh, in no time you know so yeah and and after that I, I I kept it this for a couple of hours to dry and then applied the clear coat I make sure oh sorry I I make I leave it left it left this one to dry and applied these uh, uh, decals for the headlights and paint all the tail lights and the other parts and then I applied the clear coat this is the paint, uh, clear coat so that's it so the there's no mystery in here. It's just the crack effect paint from Dulux. Yeah, but it's pretty cool. I need to, you know, uh, fix the uh, screws. Maybe I'll put some glue, some glue on it. But yeah, so far I like this very much. And one more, one more is coming. This is the R33, R32, as I remember. So I applied uh, blue color on on this one, and then I applied the crack effect. So it's so it's bluish. Let's see so it's a uh, bluish cracks it has bluish cracks, and this one has the black cracks yeah so yeah I have some homework for this weekend so I'll keep it keep this one for the weekend to complete yeah so that's it for the today's video I hope you guys enjoyed this one oops oops oops, oops. no all right I hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, apologies because I can do our videos more recently in the past couple of weeks because I will be busy so yeah I'll update uh, more videos as soon as I got time yep thanks for watching guys and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like uh, and please uh, visit my diecast beast uh, Instagram page so you can see all the uh, photos and compared photos uh, these two castings Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching, uh, keep in touch, bye.